Hey guys, what's going on? When you're poor, you have to look for ways to save money. And sometimes that means buying in bulk. Aha! I went and bought bulk liver. That's right. Not only is liver affordable, it's extremely nutritious. This whole big bag in here of delicious meat and uh, you know so I go to the meat place and I say hey I want some beef liver and he says okay I could probably do it for 120 a pound and I was like give me two of them so he brings me two they weigh it out on the scale and it's $22 total and it was 20 pounds of meat, but my cost was also 20 pounds. So, I'm no mathematician, but it looks like I saved money. <laughs> Sorry, chef, chicken. A hot of liver. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Poverty Chef. I forgot my channel name. Uh, today, we're doing fried liver and zucchini. So, got our fried zucchini here, and our fried liver here. And it's gonna be dope. Well, not really, because I didn't cook it with dope oil. I cooked it with avocado oil. But I hear that people like to use dope oil to cure a lot of things, similar to coconut oil. So, first piece of liver. Now, we're using barbecue sauce today. And I know, I know, it costs extra money. How can you afford a barbecue sauce in your groceries? That's one thing that I normally go without. But there's just some things you don't skip on money. You know what I'm saying? So, for barbecue sauce, you always go with Sweet Baby Race. Nothing against craft, but don't get craft. Mm. It's a little chilly. That's not good. It means I fucked up cooking it. But I'm poor, so I have no other options. I gotta eat it. Next time, I'm going to have to cut these pieces smaller, because it was just too big and didn't hold enough barbecue sauce. One dog was licking the other dog's ear. And that's why that dog has a fucking ear infection because you keep letting. <clears throat> Might cost more money, and then uh, next month I won't be able to afford barbecue sauce skin. So thanks, assholes. I'm kidding, they're okay. <clears throat> I don't have an ear infection, but it has caused the ear infection in the past. So here, I've never had fried zucchini. I just was like, fuck it, I'm gonna try that. So here I am. I'm going to try this fried zucchini here <clears throat> without barbecue sauce, and I'll try it with barbecue sauce. It's not very good. I don't like it. But I have a choice. So I guess it's a good thing I got the barbecue sauce. This way I'm still getting a serving of fruit. Yes, zucchini is a fruit. It is not a vegetable.
definitely tastes better with barbecue sauce. I meant to say it definitely tastes better with barbecue sauce. <laughs> I was listening to myself talking, and I was like, what the hell am I saying? That don't make no sense, Poverty Chef. Actually, it would be, don't make any sense, because that would be a double negative. Well, technically, if you wanted to be technical, you would say, that does not make any sense. You say it doesn't, but who uses conjunctions in their speech, right? Mmm. Much better piece of liver. How liver supposed to be where you can chew it all the way through there's no tough parts and it's uh it almost becomes creamy after you, you've eaten it like <clears throat> like a very thick almost powdery cream is how it should feel when you're chewing it and it's really good You know, when I was married, she would never make stuff like this for me. But she didn't hate me either. I mean, the liver's good, but the zucchini is just terrible to eat. So I keep seeing shit in my beard. I don't have anything in my beard. It, it's water from earlier because I washed my face. And then I dry my beard off, and magically more water appears in my beard. I think I need to go to some parts of Africa and wash my beard and then just, just start milking it for people to get water. It's just magical beard water. Mmm. Or the juicy one. I'm not a fan of the flavor or the texture of this fried zucchini. But, I mean, I tried to help it. I would fry it with the, with the liver juice. So I fried the liver first. So it was avocado, liver, olive, no, sorry. I said avocado oil earlier. It's olive oil. I use olive oil. I can go get it if you don't believe me. But I use olive oil, fried the liver in it, and then I had the little, you know, the little pieces of fried liver meat in there and a little bit of the myoglobin and stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. If you burp, it's a nutritious meal, unless it's soda. That was meant as a trick back in the 40s. They knew that food that makes you burp is healthy, so they made soda burp so that you buy more soda. But yeah, the intent here was to make the zucchini taste like liver, and now it tastes like nothing. feels like I'm eating shrimp, but it tastes like I'm drinking olive oil. And I'm just not sure if that's the height of human experience, you know? Ugh. I really don't want to put another one of these in my mouth. <laughs> ah, it's not the first time I've said that.
think this would work as best as a dinner meal, but I mean it for breakfast. That's why my hair is so messy, more messy than usual. Here goes another piece of liver. My dog's just staring at the others. Trying to figure out why the hell he's so interested. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything else to review, guys. Just trying to give you the input on this poor people food here. I imagine this would be popular in the South. They like to eat a lot of collard greens and grits, which... In my opinion, have no flavor. Unless you get the grits with cheese in it, that's some really good grits, but um on a scale of one to ten, I give the liver an eight and the zucchini a negative forty-eight. And nothing else to report at this time. Captain Kirk of the Enterprise setting off. Uh, <laughs> don't forget to fry that like button and uh, terribly prepare your subscribe button and then leave a mean comment because I know that's all you have to say about me is mean stuff. So go ahead and drop it.